Dear Chartered Accountants, Working Professionals and Students in the domains of Indian Auditing, Accounting and the Tax and Regulatory Space, Welcome to Podcast of FCA Deepak Rao, a Practicing Chartered Accountant. Daily News and Updates for 20th September 2023 GSTN has activated the Geo Coding functionality for the additional place of business addresses across all states and union territories. This builds upon the geocoding functionality earlier implemented for the principal place of business operational since February 2023. To date, over 2.05 crore addresses have been geocoded for both principal and additional places of business by GSTN. Moreover, since March 2022, all new addresses are geocoded at the point of registration ensuring consistent accuracy and standardization from the beginning. Income Tax Department has released the latest Digital Signature Certificate or DSC Management Utility for Taxpayers. The new utility is known as EM Bridge and it can be downloaded from the Income Tax website. The DSC Management Utility is a software application that helps taxpayers to manage their DSCs. It can be used to generate signature files, register DSCs on the income tax e-filing portal and reset passwords using DSC. The new EM Bridge utility is more user-friendly and secure than the previous DSC management utility. It also supports a wide range of DSCs. CBDT extends due date for filing Form 10B and 10BB and Form ITR 7 for the assessment year 23-24 from the earlier date of 30th September 2023 to 31st October 2023. The diplomatic dispute between Canada and India regarding the murder of a Sikh leader could potentially harm their growing economic ties. India is a significant source of foreign students for Canadian colleges and universities and Canadian pension managers have invested billions of dollars in Indian companies and projects. Although the impact on trade is expected to be minimal, the dispute could have a chilling effect on investment flows between the two countries. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India or TRAI has proposed to reduce entry fees for various licenses by over 50% in order to encourage new players to enter the sector. However, TRAI has rejected calls from telecom operators to scrap bank guarantees for these licenses, stating that they serve a mechanism to protect against market uncertainties. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Matram, Jai Hind.